Well, what a job I'm going to be doing today. Hmm. Yeah. It's a bit chilly out as well, but we've got the heater on, and the noise in the background is the dehumidifier. You'll note I have cardboard down. Uh, yes, the garage floor is painted. Yes, this stuff is completely resistant to brake fluid, but why have to clean things up when you can absorb them with cardboard? Great stuff. So, the pads are out. So, the bolts were not tight. Let's just finger bob them out. Someone's going to ask me why this bit of wood is on the floor. If you're not, I'll be disappointed. So I'm going to answer the question before you ask it. This bit of wood here is on the floor because, meh, it was a spare bit of wood that framed the garage base when it was built. I was going to cut it up to burn it. Um, I brought it in to dry. And I've since left it there because I'm too lazy. It really is that simple. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put this in there. Yeah, and all I'm doing, because the pads are out, is using it to stop those pistons moving out. I'm not pushing them in, I'm just using it to stop them moving out. We have the caliper spreader holding the pistons back. The plan is that'll stop those pistons moving. Go around the other side, take the caliper off, pump the brakes gently, get the pistons two thirds ish of the way out. Come right round here, and in front of the camera, I will gently pump the pistons on this one out. So we have the other caliper pushed out. Pistons are right the way out, two thirds, let's see, there or thereabouts. Um, just as an ad aside, Costco wholesale a little bit. An old Club Nokia. See, these are the things I use as shims. So if I want my brake calipers, uh, my pistons most of the way out, that's a bit of a thick one, I didn't use that one. I've got thinner wedges of wood. Some of these, so I can work out how far I want a piston to come out, slot them in, and push the piston out to them. Then just peel these out one by one, it becomes loose, hey -ho. So currently, there's a bit of wood actually, which is nice and gentle, doesn't damage the caliper, inside that caliper between the pistons and the housing. So, what we can do now, it's very gently. Okay. Yeah, it turned it right the first time. Let's just see if they'll both come out together. They never do. No. So I'm going to take this bit of wood, pop it in there for a second, just to get that other one to start to come out. See what's happening? It's holding one, and the other one is coming out. Now I should say, and I didn't say this at the start, <laughs> um, undo your brake fluid reservoir because otherwise all that's going to happen is the suction's just going to keep pulling them back in every time you release uh, it'll take ages to pump them out uh, don't take the cover off it because if you're pumping the handle as I've been doing you'll spurt brake, brake fluid everywhere but you can see the problem now if I just remove this <sighs> tie wood look that right there is my outer caliper seal <laughs> the inner one's intact but that's the outer that obviously stops all the crap and crud getting in, so it needs replaced. So give me two seconds, because what I need to do is get another shim of wood that's a bit narrower to pop in here, so that these can come out as far as I want them. So I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, and I have two shims of wood. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. All I'm going to do, <laughs> get that seal out of the way, pop that shim in there now. going to come out that far without popping and then we'll wait to find out if they pop it doesn't matter because the other side are two thirds out anyway and they need to come out so the only difference will be I'll make a hell of a mess come on oh nice so as you can see now I've got these uh, pistons most of the way out I'm just going to leave them there I can actually now usually just wiggle this out. I might have to put a bit of brute force behind it, a screwdriver down the bottom. Nope. There we go. So you can see 
I've now got my calipers where my pistons are I would say more than half two thirds ish of the way out I don't like brake fluid I'm sure nobody likes brake fluid so this time we're going to get a set of gloves on and the theory is we're going to pop the banjo bolt and take off the caliper all we're going to do do the spanner in my hand. Let's take out. Well, I've got new crush washers and everything else. I don't care what happens to them. Let's take out that. Great is just tiddling out. To be honest, I'm just going to leave it to tiddle out. I don't care. It's I've got new brake fluid. I mean, as I said, why would you not? Um, why would you not change your brake fluid when you're changing your seals and your pads and everything else? Well, I'm not changing the pads to be honest because they're fine. This is where it gets messy. Very, very messy indeed. So the theory is, I just want to remove these pistons. Now, it's always easier than flipping sounds. Yeah, I just removed the pistons, he says. Be dead easy, he says. Never easy. Please note that. Get this last bit is always a pain. Uh, a pain in the hoop. It is coming, as you can see, it's now a considerable this further than that one. Let me just loosen them off because they've moved out a bit. And all I'm doing, I've got put them in, rock them tight, wind the little butterfly nut up. Stops me having to grip quite so much. And I'm just wiggling and pulling. Wiggling and pulling. <laughs> the thing is, I want to pull them at the bottom there. See, it's coming. So, what we're going to do is just give it a gentle oh, left and right. See, the problem now is man, my caliper tool is fouling that. But that should now uh, come out. And there you go. So, what we'll do it. We'll just tip more brake fluid out. So you see how easy that is? You've got the right tool, one caliper extraction tool, one caliper, and there's my knackered seal. There's what caused all this work to be done. So, I've obviously shown you that. There's no point in me sitting here on film stripping all these out um, because I'll bore you to death. So what I'm going to do, strip these out, head back into the house once I've wiped them down. We'll get them cleaned up and uh, carry on from there. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>